Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Something emotional. You, are you in your feelings here? You're in your feelings about something, going through something very emotional here. Miracles. Oh, there's something getting ready to come towards you that is going to be great. You're going to be very emotionally in awareness. Interesting. Awareness. So this is really giving me collective the energy of you being made aware of something. You receiving some form of notification, communication, whatever, however you're going to find out. This is something that you don't expect. This is something that's going to make you fairly very happy, very happy um, and emotional. This is good. This is really good. And you, I definitely don't think you're going to expect this. So let's see what else here we have. What else about this miracle for the collective here? Something to do with your intuition here. Make sure you're trusting that intuition or being open. Okay, this may require some form of you taking a, a leap of faith or taking some form of action, stepping outside of your comfort zone. So be like ready for change. This could involve some form of change. Or like you need to take some form of free spirited approach, okay? And that's just telling me like this could be giving me full energy, okay? Um, it's necessary for you guys. Make sure you're getting all the rest that you need to get right now, okay? Make sure you're getting all the rest that you need to get right now. So if you've been feeling like tired or drained or something, make sure that you're taking care of yourself and you're getting the amount of rest that you need. You're getting the exercise and you're eating right, okay? That's a side message. Yeah, see what I'm saying? There's some form of anxiety about this. You, you need to be like, think positive, step outside your comfort zone here. Thank you, spirit. Um, don't be negative because I feel like this is positive, but it, it either requires some form of adjustment or change or you to take some form of action or leap of faith, but you're a little unsure about that. I'm not sure why you're having this anxiety because listen, whatever this is coming towards you is actually a miracle, okay? Whether you know it or not, maybe some of you guys are waiting for a miracle. There's something here that you've been waiting on for quite a while and you're like, where is it? The number 18 for some of you, look at this. Either this is about you being in your feelings because the angel of love is here, okay? Because we already saw this feelings energy. This is the same energy, I feel like. So some of you guys are either A, um, in your feelings about this and you're emotional and you don't know what to do. This could be something that you really love or like your heart has really been desiring this here. Or some of you all might be waiting for a love connection here or having some form of anxiety when it comes to love. Wow, the number 18 and number 49 may be significant to you. Hmm. Healer of ages, the number 51. And then envy. Okay, bottom of the deck is the woman holding a coin, the number 42. The woman holding the coin is like the queen of pentacles energy here, okay? So whatever this is that's coming in for you, there, the queen of pentacles, oops, sorry, the queen of pentacles is somebody here who has everything that they need. And this is, I know that's a female, but this could be male or female and resonate for you still. Uh, it's in the energy of like, you have everything that you need. I feel like some of you all are going through some form of healing phase right now. Um, but the miracle or whatever this awareness is that's coming in for you is going to have you in a good position as far as like abundance, stability. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody here who's pretty usually pretty grounded, they're pretty doing pretty good financially. They make sound judgment calls, they make good decisions, you know. You know, I could be talking to a mother here. For some of y'all, you may be a mother. If you're not a mother, that's okay. This is just energy of being grounded and stable. Um, and doing really well for yourself, okay? But the, here's the thing. The envy energy just came out here. Be careful that if you're having anxiety about where something is and why you have not received it yet, collective, the envy energy, yes, it could be someone around you that's envious and jealous, but I also feel like this is within you. Like, this is your own anxiety because you're wanting something, you're emotional about it, when is it coming, but you're still in the healing process. I feel like the envy energy is all about, I have, you're coming in as the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles literally is like, has their heart's desires as far as like, no financial problems, you know, pretty grounded individual, right? You're pretty stable, but it's like, I have this, but I want that. 
right? So you need to be in the energy of like being grateful and having gratitude. You could be, some of you guys could be looking at other people and seeing what they have or like if that person has a love interest or that person has someone else or a relationship or whatever that is. Don't compare yourself to, to what other people have going on. Okay. Whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by. I mean, miracles are coming to you. Yeah, look at that. Adore the romance. Miracles are coming to... I feel like you guys are waiting for love. And you're like, when is it coming? When is it coming? Well, it's, 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 it's coming, but I feel like you're still in like a healing phase right now. Yep, the garden and the gate. The garden and the gate energy, literally the number 30 could be significant for you. The garden and the gate energy speaks about, and look at that, the woman holding a heart. Yep, the woman holding a heart. <laughs> The bottom of that, the financial constraints. So the the financial constraints energy is five of pentacles energy, which is like feel, being in lack. So I feel like you guys are just like feeling like you're lacking. You're lacking something that you really want and you're emotional about it. Well, it looks like the miracle is getting ready to happen for you. Some of y'all could be seeing 333 here too. All right. Or the number 33 could be significant for you. But this energy of the garden in the gate, the number 30 is about stepping outside of your comfort zone. Like I said, don't be afraid to step outside this gate because on the outside of that gate is the miracle. Right. That spirit was talking about a woman holding a heart. Number 44. Yeah. There's something coming in for you. Let's pull some tarot and see what this is about. Can you show me more about what this is about for the collective, please? Yeah, don't, don't be, one thing about it, you guys, like, regardless if you see other people in a relationship, married, or whatever that is, or they just got a new boo, or a new bae, whatever it is, like, y'all, don't get caught up in what somebody else has going on. Number one, what things look like on the outside don't always, it's not always a, a, a representative of what it is on the inside. You'll know what's going on in people's lives, you'll know what's going on in people's homes, and hopefully people are happy and doing good, but you don't know how much growth those people had to go through. You don't know how much whatever it is that they went through. And that might not even be their forever person. That might just be the person that they had to meet to learn another karmic lesson. And you've learned your karmic lesson. You're in this energy of <clears throat> healing, okay? Uh, also, too, you may want to get Reiki. Okay, I don't know if you're into Reiki, but Reiki is a good healer for you. That might help you uh, reduce some anxiety or reduce some sort of blockage here. What do we have for the collective? Show me more about the situation. Yep, you're manifesting this. This is good. The magician. There's no need for you to worry here. Okay, this is coming. Show me more for the collective, please. Yep, I told you. Look at this. There goes that queen of pentacles again. You're going to have what you need. You are of high value, okay? Male or female, you are of high value. The queen of pentacles is someone who is highly sought after. Look at this. The, the magician came out, right? But guess what else came out? The world and the fool. Some of you guys are going to be doing some form of travel. But did, not, did I not say the gate in the garden energy here is the energy of you stepping outside of your comfort zone and you needing to take a free-spirited approach to something? This free-spirited approach you guys could be about taking a leap of faith it could be traveling for some of you all this will require traveling overseas doing something you've never done before that's why you're having this emotional anxiety okay you know i feel like you are you've ended some things and, and you successfully completed the cycle like i said with this world card energy and you've been doing some healing work and now it's time for you to start hit the reset. So spirit, the miracle here is that you have the opportunity to hit the reset button and start over and do something. Start fresh, start new, come out of the energy of anxiety and lack. Yeah, this is beautiful. Ooh, look at what I'm, I just picked up the deck and look what's on the top of the deck. The Ace of Cups. What's on the bottom of that? The Seven of Wands. What are you doing? Why are you so guarded? Oh, you feel like there's been a block or a delay in love. Look at this. You feel like there's been a block or delay in love. You could be a Pisces here with this hangman energy. I think this is what's going on. You guys were really like, where is this? It's coming. 
You're just closing out a cycle and you did it. So congratulations to you. Show me more about this. Yeah, look, it's took it's taking a lot of strength. You could be a Leo here or have Leo in your chart. It's taking you a lot of strength and confidence. But spirit wants you to move toward boldly, okay, and confidently. This last cycle has been a, a, a hard one, hasn't it? I know, for me it has been. Why is the fool here for the collective? Why is the fool here for the collective? Okay, so something new here is getting ready to come in. There's some curious energy here. Some curious energy. That's that free-spirited energy we were getting earlier while I was telling you have a free-spirited approach. Don't be afraid to learn something new and try something new. That's that energy. Tell me more about this fool and this new start. Yep, I tell you guys what's going on. Five of Pentacles energy. You're like... Are you afraid to... Yeah, you're going... Man, you guys are going, to, going through some form of ending transformation some of y'all may be feeling a little bit lonely or you may be just feeling a little bit down here you're going through a very strong transformation period here you like i said you're going through a healing process Ooh, that energy is heavy you could be a scorpio here show me more aries is here too by the way in gemini show me more about this energy for the collective yeah, this is something that's been taking you guys a while. That's why you're like, when is it, is it coming or not? Because this Nine of Pentacles energy and the judgment, you're going, yeah, you've been working on yourself, Eight of Pentacles. You've been, you guys have been doing a lot of flipping work on yourselves, and that's why you're like, what the heck? What the heck? But I know, just be patient, you guys. You hang in there. You, you got this. You got this. Yeah, there goes your Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles because you put in the work. Because you put in the work. You didn't take any skips. You didn't you didn't go about things the easy way. You did the inner work. You you did it. Good for you. It may have taken you a while, but you made it. You're mastering something. You're learning how to deal with abandonment issues. You're learning. Some of you guys are trying to transform your finances. You're trying to transform your lives. Some of you guys are are saving money. And some of you all want to travel the world. Some of you all want to go to school. And you're looking for the money to go to school, right? It's coming. You have everything that you need with this magician energy being here. All, you, all spirit is telling you, okay, you have everything you need, magician. Don't be afraid to take this take a leap of faith and step out right and start something new the world and the fool okay don't be afraid to do that you'll have to refocus your mind you'll have to put together a plan you'll have to come out of the anxiety right and step outside because miracles are here for you you can do this yeah, ten of, what else is available for what else is coming towards the collective? Get this ten of pentacles. This is great. Mm -hmm. Wish fulfillment and the five of wands. Mm -hmm. So you are getting some form of wish fulfillment here. There could be some competition. Ooh. I'm just gonna say this. Bottom of the deck is the lovers, and there goes that queen of pentacles again. I'm telling you, you are highly sought after. I don't care what anybody says about you. I don't care what anybody thinks about you. I don't care if you were denied in the past. They cannot keep you from what is yours. I do not care. I don't care. My God. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Because the nine of cups, the empress is here with the sun. Okay, who? Who wants to smoke? That's all I'm saying. You have a wish fulfillment and happiness around you. You are, your light and your being and your energy is amazing. You have been doing this work. Whether you believe in yourself or you know that for a fact or not, I am here to tell you, you are doing the work you, you are doing amazing. Hang in there. People see it, they may not be telling you that. They, people see it, they, they're, they're in secretly, people are secretly in competition with you whether you know it or not, Five of Wands. For some of you all, this Five of Wands could constitute or represent your own inner conflict, which I definitely feel like a lot of you all are going through some inner conflict for sure. You're going through this inner conflict about, I feel, your worth and your value because 
because there are some things that you just want and some goals that you're trying to accomplish and they haven't come in yet. But Spirit is telling you here, miracles are here for you and available to you. You have everything that you need. You can, you're can. you going to come out of this financial constraint energy. I I believe in you. You can do this. You just need to hang in there. I'm telling you, there nobody has worked as hard as you with this judgment energy and this eight of pentacles and this knight of pentacles. <clears throat> That's how I see this energy here. The Nine of Pentacles is the slowest energy, slowest moving energy in the day, right? The judgment energy, to, to be in the energy of judgment, you guys, you have to be willing to look at within. You have to be willing to say, what is it that I need to do? What is it that I need to change? Not blame other people. You're doing the work that some people just cannot do. It's not for the weak. And you are not weak. Remember that. We saw that strength card. I know it may feel a little weak at times, and, and you may not understand this and be in this inner conflict, but like I said, you don't know that people around you are, are in competition with you. You don't. You don't know that there's competition in the background. You don't know that there's people with other stuff in the background. I feel like there could even be some form of like jealousy or like gossip or talk when it comes to you being in this beautiful goddess energy. Okay. What? Taurus and Leo energy here. Alright. So you got the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. The Sun card. The Magician. And the Fool here. Huh. Yeah. Don't worry about anybody else. There goes that self-awareness. Pisces energy with the high priestess. There goes that awareness I was telling you about. You got something's being revealed to you with the sun card and the high priestess energy. You're going to see something. You guys are getting ready to see something for what it is or this is you seeing yourself for who you truly are. For who you truly are. Can nobody put one up on you with this energy as long as you're trusting your intuition? Mm-mm. Like I said, who wants to smoke? It's time to leave the baggage behind and move on. Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're realizing you're going to have to move for some of you all. Maybe it's time for you to leave behind this old baggage, this old thinking, these old ways. Show me the high priestess energy, please. Hmm. Show me the high priestess energy, please. You're healing. Look at that. Ace of Wands. There's something new coming in for you. Some new opportunity. Some passionate new creative endeavor or something coming towards you. Somebody could be a Sag. We do have Temperance here with the Ace of, the Ace of Wands. Show me more about this High Priestess energy. Four. Okay. The Wheel. I feel like while you're resting or taking care of yourself and healing this idea comes in towards you with the wheel like this new creative idea it could be cancer pisces or scorpio here um hmm, there could be a love offer coming in towards you you're getting a lot of attention here some of you guys are getting a lot of attention here. And there could be somebody from the past that wants to come back here, but I'm not talking about that right now because I don't feel like this is this is that's the message for you. Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Wheel. Clarified High Priestess, right? That's those are the clarifiers for the high priestess. I just feel like you know there's something coming in here for you that's destined. That's destined. There's either an idea, something creative, some new project, whatever this new thing is, it's going to come to you when, you re when you're resting or when you least expect it. So make sure you guys are getting plenty of rest, pl plenty of sleep. You're taking care of your bodies, your soul, your mind, your spirit, because it does look like you're in a lot of anxiety here lately. Don't forget we saw that anxiety card. Um... So make sure you're doing that so you can get that idea or that flow coming in. Because, you know, the wheel is about what's destined. It's about divine timing. It may have been a long-ass time, you know what I'm saying? But it's coming. Ace of, Ace of um, Wands. It's coming. Yeah, this is coming. 
Let me pull some messages real quick. Sagittarius energy, Leo energy, Taurus energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. As far as major arcana is here. Ooh. Okay, what is this? Yeah, that's you guys. Look at this. Look at this. You guys are really looking for someone. Y'all, you guys are looking for a partner, long something long term, and I promise you, it's coming. But I feel like there's something else that's meant for you to conquer or accomplish before that happens. Okay, you, whether you know it or not, you are an earth angel, and I feel you have these gifts, and you don't even know it. But I feel like you guys are gonna be realizing these gifts. Your gifts. You are the gift. You are the gift. Shit. You're blessed and highly favored, you guys. And you don't even know it. That higher level of commitment that you're looking for, that family, those kids, that stuff is coming to you. I'm telling you. Your 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 person who wants to be with you, remember we saw the Ten of Pentacles to for me to remind you, okay? The the person you're looking for that's loyal, that's honest, that's ride or die, look, this person is coming in. This person is coming in. Marriage, higher level of commitment. That is coming in for you, whether you know it or not. You're special and one of a kind. And I think you guys are, you've just been stuck in, you're healing from a karmic cycle. And that's okay. The success is coming. The success is coming. And I meant for you, oh yeah, some of you guys are like, your life is going to be changing for sure. Yeah. Some of you all are going to be getting a new job. I feel like you guys are realizing that you're seeing your true worth and your true value. Um, and so there may be a need for you to review your finances so that you can, you know, with a fine tooth comb so that you can accomplish and create a plan. Um, so just stay, stay on that course. So some of you are looking for a house or a new job or whatever it is. Like it's time for you to step out on faith and, and get outside of your comfort zone. And I mean that. I'm going to read this Garden in the Gates. Um, let me see. Where is that book? Hold on, y'all. Did I put my book up? I want to read the Garden in the Gate. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. The the garden and the gate is the number 30. I'm going to turn right to it. Okay. This card shows a peaceful young woman. Okay. Can y'all see that? A peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the gate, the garden is locked while the girl wears the key on a chain around her neck. This card upright embodies that well for the financial scene. Um, and wait, this card upright bodes well for the financial scene. So like I said, some of you guys, your finances are going to be improving. Okay. It says, in fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time, but be aware, right? Remember we saw awareness. Okay. So be aware, trust your intuition with that high priestess energy that we saw too. Um, the choice to stay in the seeming, seemingly secure uh, garden may actually be motivated by habit or fear of the unknown. Didn't I say take a take a leap of faith and take a risk, right? You, you got to step outside of that energy and be a little bit more free spirited. Um, it says the beauty is enticing and worth enjoying if you stay right in the comfort zone. But the beauty is um, the beauty is enticing and worth enjoying. But you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from a karmic path or from you, from living your truth. Sorry, you guys. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. Okay? Let's see. Oh, affirmation is I am blessed with abundantly spirit with a with an abundantly spiritual life every day in every way. My joyous prosperity grows and grows. Okay. So you know, if you're focused on just money, 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 you need to be focused on more than just money, money, money. Or if, if money is an issue for right now, you're having some financial struggles, 
um, and you know you may feel be feeling like money's gonna get you out of whatever dump that you're in emotionally and that's not true right so try not to focus on money um engage more in spiritual priorities okay you know and, and that's going to also help you as well too because some of you you guys i feel like you need to see the beauty and the joy of what you already have right now and that's where you're going to find the blessing okay but there's something unexpected and joyous coming in for you so just know that with the wheel being here um and the nine of cups and the sun card so I love you guys. That was a beautiful, beautiful message. Let me know if you like it in the comments. Until next time.